Hello. So welcome backstage again. Um, I am going to transform myself into Mantis from the Guardians of the Galaxy number two. Um, and I already applied uh, um, a full coverage foundation all over my face. And right now I'm going to uh, kind of erase my eyebrows and I'm going to draw them a little bit higher on top of my um, own eyebrows. So I'm going to use just a normal kit's glue and I'm going to just glue my eyebrows. And I always, I dye my eyebrows um, in a pretty dark color and I have uh, microbladed eyebrows. So it is a little bit tricky to really erase them completely. But we're going to try. It's really difficult. How cute is Maui, by, by the way? Aww, honey. Hmm? You're just chilling over there. So cute. Yeah. And I'm wearing a pajamas from Disney and um, that's because it's in the morning. It's Saturday morning. All right, back to my face. So there's a little bit of glue on there and I'm going to use concealer, which is really full coverage and that's what we need. And gently we're going to dab onto the eyebrow. going to powder and do this again. So powder, 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 press. And let's do this again with the same concealer. Molly, you're purring. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. Now what am I doing? I'm actually just creating a blank canvas. Um, because now I don't even have my eyebrows anymore. So you can just kind of contour and, um, and just, just create a, a character space. Because I feel like eyebrows, they are... I don't know, they're like, they frame your face in a way. It's just, um, when they're gone, you can totally create something else. Which is what we're going to do, because Mantis is totally different <laughs> from me. Let's powder again. So now I'm going to do eyebrows and I'm going to do eyeliner because she is a little bit Asian. I think she's part Vietnamese or something. So I'm going to draw a line and then um, my eyebrows are growing very narrow. I feel like I need a picture of, of Mantis, but I feel like it's going a little bit over and then very, very um, in, a, in, a, in an arch, I feel like, and then very soft. All right, now some mascara. I'll just brush my eyelashes first a little bit and then some mascara. And maybe I will put some fake eyelashes over it. I really, really, really dislike putting fake eyelashes onto my own lashes because it's so difficult. I can never get it right. This feels super clumsy when I do that. Now a little bit of um, black underneath my uh, my eyelashes, and usually I do this first, but I forgot. 
why do I do this first, uh, even before foundation? Because it the powder gets onto the foundation. And I'm not yet putting mascara on the bottom lashes because uh, Mantis has black eyes and I have the, the, the lenses. Um, so I feel like if I, it's going to be really difficult to get them in. Um, maybe I'll, I'll put some highlighter on my top of my eyelids. Is that weird? I'll just try experiment. I have something in my eye. Wait. So I'll put highlighter over here. All the way on the lid. And underneath. Because I've heard that a lot of Asian people do that. Highlighter underneath your eyes. All right. I feel like it's time to put these on my head. And first, I think I will put my hair in a net, so in a pantyhose, and then I will apply this. Let's do it. All right, done. And now I'm going to try and get these off. Right. And I feel like I'm going to latex this onto, and I hope that this does not stick onto my hair because if it does, I have a huge problem. So uh, I'm going to <laughs> going to gamble a little bit right now. Um, first, let's see if we, we don't have to liquid latex too much on the on the back side because I'm going to try and glue this just the way that I did with Seven of Nine from Star Trek. This it smells funny, doesn't it? Oh, you have hair on your face. Cutie. I'm surprised you didn't jump away because this is a really strong scent. Usually hates everything that's really strong. I feel like he's <laughs> he hates the scent, but he's kind of intrigued. What am I gonna do? Am I going to stay here? Am I going Let's try and stick it onto my head. look ridiculous <laughs> but it looks pretty cool though I'm um, thinking should I do some liquid latex or should I not to latex or not to latex so let's see So I have decided to um, put a little bit of liquid, liquid latex on the four side of this prop, just so that it blends a little bit better. So I have my liquid latex, just a little bit. I'm just going to apply it.
So I liquid latexed my um, forehead and now I'll just blend that in with foundation. Let's look at uh, the way that it looks with the wig on. Let's see. Yep, this looks pretty good. I'm uh, really pleased with how this looks and now I'm going to contour my face a little bit. So I'm going to take this color, I don't know, it's by Anastasia Contour Kit. And um, I'm just going to slightly make my nose a little bit narrower because she has a really, really tiny little nose. And let's put some lenses into my eyes. That's going to make such a huge difference. Let's go. So as you can see, I decided to put some um, fake lashes onto my eyes and it took about 30 minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll spare you the, um, the, the visual of me trying to, to get it on there. All right, so last step pretty much. Um, I'm already wearing the, uh, the outfit, which is just a thermo um, athletic shirt, but it really looks space kind of ish and I'm really happy with it. Um, we need to apply the eyes and I have special lenses. They're really expensive, um, but they are super big. So they are black and they're way bigger than your own uh, irises. So I do not know how I'm going to apply this, but I'm going to try. All right, so wish me luck. All right. They truly are massive. Oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? I don't even know if my eyeball is this big. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. To put these lenses in, you really have to stuff them into your eye because it doesn't fit. You have to first stuff it underneath your, your eyelid, your upper eyelid, and then you have to stuff it underneath your, your lower eyelid. And then obviously the result is, is really cool, but oh my gosh, oh, this is a nightmare. This is really tricky. Ugh. Oh man. Oh, and now it really hurts because um, I've applied it about 30 times already. So there's lots of makeup and stuff on the inside of the lens. So that's right now that's irritating my eye a lot. Um, I'm just removing the, um, the makeup underneath here. I teared everything away I'll just apply it again so yeah hello freckles I'll just remove my makeup underneath here too
All right, so underneath my eyes, the highlighter, and I already fixed my concealer underneath my eyes. Oh, still recovering from my eyes. Man, the look is done. Do you like it, Maui? Yeah, he loves it. Oh my gosh. He's still in the sink. Look how cute. Ugh. Honestly, my eyes hurt so much. And I'm really afraid that I'll dam damage them long term. So uh, I'm just contemplating where, whether I will do this role play or not. I mean, they look really cool, but it hurts so much that I feel like this cannot be good for my eyes. <laughs> but I, I've spent hours doing this look, so I'm really trying to think, all right, what am I going to do? Am I going to not do this role play or just suck it up? and then take them out as fast as I can. I think I'm going to do the last option, so. All right, so I did record uh, a video, even though my eyes are killing me right now. So um, I just recorded one take, and now I'm going to take my eyes um, out. <laughs> my lens is out. Can't wait, oh my God, I wanna do this so bad. Yes, oh, oh, look how red my eye is. My gosh. All right, they're out of my eyes. I have to say this is really irresponsible and um, do not do this. If you feel a sting in your eyes, take them out immediately. Um, I've been really stupid and not taking care of myself because even though I've spent hours trying to look like Mantis, it's not worth risking my eyes. So I don't know how this happened, why I got so irritated with my eyes because I, I wear lenses quite often and um, it, it irritates a little bit, but this is really something else. Maybe it's just because they're so big and they're not uh, not just on your iris, but on your whole eye. I don't know how people do this when they act and how Mantis did this throughout, throughout the whole video, throughout the whole movie of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. There must be a trick to um, make it more wearable because this was <laughs> torture. Um, I just hope you can't, you can't really tell when you're watching the video that I'm just trying to keep my eyes open, but I just, I just wanted to keep them closed, really. Um, so yeah, but just don't, don't ever do this just because I am so ir irresponsible, right? So yeah. So now I'm, I'm having a, a day with my friends and then I think tomorrow I will um, edit my video so I just recorded it and it, the getting ready took hours I think it, it took like three and a half four hours or something to get the look of mantis right so I'll take it all off and I'll take a shower and I'll spend the day with my friends so thank you so much for watching backstage I hope you really enjoy the ASMR mantis video and I'll see you again soon bye